This is Tumuna TV News. I'm Alice Peter. A jubilant Sumka MP, Ken Fairweather, yesterday told media he is content the National Court in Medang ruled in his favor, including 10 others who were summoned by the government in an application to stop them from interfering in the development of the Pacific Marine Industrial Zone or the PMIZ project. He said the group welcomes the court's ruling with open arms. All attempts to have the local MP and those against the PMIZ project shunned were reversed, resulting in humiliation, Fairweather said. He said even attempts to withdraw the case at the last minute were indications that the court's outcome was in their favour. The Department of Trade and Industry lawyer at the last moment got afraid and withdrew the uh, court case because he knew he could not win. He said such was inappropriate. However, those summoned did not back down, knowing too well that what they stood for is worth fighting. Even the court was disappointed with the approach, he told Tumana TV. Fairweather and the nine plaintiffs, excluding the late Dr. Nancy Sullivan, are to be compensated by the state, the national court ordered. Up until yesterday, they were still using armed police to ask us to release them from the court case. We did not. Uh, give in to the, to the Department of Trade and Industry or their police and we continued on this morning. The, uh, at which point they withdrew their application. The judge was not pleased with uh, the way this was conducted and he awarded uh, the defendants, us, they, he awarded us costs plus compensation. And uh, we also have the right to go back to court to ask for more compensation and the ability to uh, prosecute the Department of Trade and Industry. The Sumkar MP claims the Trade, Commerce and Industry Department, under the leadership of the current minister, is incompetent. He called on the government to consider making changes to the department for effective management and also to avoid embarrassment. The point is here now though, it is clear, this Minister, Richard Maru, the Minister for Trade and Industry, is immature, incompetent and must be sacked. If he won't resign honourably, then the Prime Minister will have to decommission him. There is no other choice now. He is, this is not the first time he's humiliated the, the government. It won't be the last. Fairweather says, without realising, the government, through the Department of Trade, Commerce and Industry, has put itself in an awkward position where it is now enemy to several groups of people and organizations. The government's loss is just the beginning of what may be a miserable ride, especially on the PMIZ issue and human rights violation. That this now means that the, the door is open and there's a flood of court cases coming now to stop the PMIZ. This is not us who did this. This is the Department of Trade, Commerce and Industry and the Minister. They've opened the door and everyone's going to rush through it. Including, there are several human rights cases now before the court, which were to be heard today, together with this case on the gagging of free speech. But because they pulled it out, then they, the Human rights cases will be put forward until the 11th of August. Others are expected to join. This too will embarrass and humiliate the government. Fairweather says the human rights violation cases filed against the government have reached international audience, adding more pressure on the already exhausted government. What's happened is now, there were overseas press people here yesterday doing interviews. They, the, the Human Watch Commission, uh, the Human Rights Watch Commission of the United Nations has been alerted. We haven't decided yet who will represent us in the uh, human rights cases. It could be an overseas lawyer. So they've opened what is now a can of worms and they will pay the penalty. David Wapar, Futumuna TV News, Medellin.